one of the frequently asked questions from my colleagues and the students is about using uh, EndNote to remove the duplicates. Uh, so during the systematic reviewing process, we usually search multiple databases. Um, and uh, obviously because the journals try to get indexes in as many databases as possible, it is possible that you get the same paper more than once appearing in your library. So this is my Android library. Um, I open the ENL library. Um, and if you look at um, the number of records, I've got uh, about 64,000 records. Uh, the first point in um, finding and removing duplicates is not just about finding them, it is about the importing the results into um, EndNote. It is important to import the search results from the database that uh, has the most complete um, record and information. In this case, um, based on my experience, I advise importing Medline records, um, then PubMed records, uh, and then Embase records. And then uh, depending on how complete the records are, you can continue um, importing the other databases. I've uh, added records, search results from over 20 databases here. Um, and the reason for importing the uh, complete records first is that when you are removing duplicates, EndNote will keep the oldest record in the library, which means the record that you've imported first. Um, so before starting um, anything, you need to double check that all your records have title field because it is the most important field during the duplication. So during the duplication, you definitely need to know that the title of the records are uh, same or similar. So I'm uh, sorting the title A to Z and I'm uh, pressing home button from my keyboard to go to the beginning and end button. So it seems that all my records have title. If they don't have title, uh, you can manually add title after investigating the um, reference. And the second uh, important thing is to check um, this, uh, the, the fields that you are seeing in your EndNote because you need to look at these fields to decide if two records are duplicate. For example, if you can't see page number, then you cannot decide, or if you can't see DOI or title. And to do that, you need to go to Edit, Preferences, Display Fields, and then uh, make sure that you have Author, Year, Title, Journal, Volume, Page, and DOI visible. So as long as you select them, the other ones are not that important. You could obviously add other fields. There are 20, 30 other fields that you could add. But in this case, I just kept these seven, which are in my opinion important. And then I press OK. So I'm seeing all the fields that I've ticked. And these are the fields that help me to decide if two records are duplicate. Um, so the traditional way was that people were looking at these records and removing them based on um, their judgment that these two seems that they have same DOI, they are definitely duplicate, but it is time consuming. So EndNote has an option uh, for finding and removing duplicates in reference menu. It's called find duplicates, but before going for that, uh, what you need to do is to set it up. Uh, to tell EndNote what is a duplicate. So to do that, you need to go to Edit, Preferences, and Duplicates. Here are some of the fields that EndNote allows you um, to tick uh, and um, make them a criteria for finding duplicates. So I've ticked only title here, but usually in the start of the duplication process, you can tick author, year, title, journal, volume, page. If all of 
these information are repeated into records and not will detect them as duplicates. Uh, this is a very specific way of um, finding duplicates and it will not find all the duplicates, but the most accurate duplicates. It means that you could easily find and remove probably a third or half of the duplicate records from your library just using um, these five in the first step. In the next stage, you could untick, let's say, author and year and go with the other. Uh, and in the a third repetition or iteration, you could just go with the title. There is no rules um, which method combination of this field is the best, but usually people would start with ticking these options. Um, make sure that you've selected ignore spacing and punctuation and then press OK. Now you've told EndNote uh, what is your definition from the uh, duplicate records. Then you go to reference menu and press find duplicates. Because it is a large library, it may take a while. It found 16,000, which means half of them at least are going to be duplicate records. What it shows you is uh, a window um, showing two records and ask you to compare and keep one of them. Or if you cannot decide, skip it. If you go like this, you need to repeat it at least 8,000 times. Um, it is not really good for your health. Uh, but if you press cancel, which is the best solution, what it does, it highlights at the duplicate records. Then you can look at them, like 20 of them in one go, based on their page number or DOI. Um, and then you can click on the scroll bar to go for the next frame, which is another 20. And you can check them and continue this. If you realize that there is a record here uh, that is not duplicate and detected by EndNote by mistake, what you can do is to press the control key and hold it down and then click on it to deselect. If you change your mind, again, you can hold the control key down, keep it and click again to select it. So it is important to keep the control key down. Um, so the, in this way, you could actually check the records 20 by 20, which means your speed will be probably 20 times more in checking the duplicates before removing them. So I usually check the page number. If there isn't any, I look at DOI or title or other fields, but usually the page number is the best one to check. When you are done with this round, you could easily press delete from your keyboard and it will delete about 8,000, 9,000 records. Um, the danger with this way of doing it is that let's say you've scrolled down up until here or here and suddenly your cat jumps in or you by mistake, you click something here without holding the control key down, which means all of your selection will be gone and you have to start from the scratch. So it has something to remember, not to click here um, unless you are having the control key down. I'm done. I'm going to delete. And as you can see, 9,000 records are gone. In the second iteration, I can go to edit preferences and get rid of the author and say because the author names could be uh, different in different databases uh, because some of them use abbreviation of first names, some of them don't, uh, and sometimes there is discrepancy in indexing. Um, but the last iteration that you can do after playing with them in a few steps is just keeping the title. And that is the probably the most important stage. And then press OK, reference, find duplicates, cancel, and there you go. There are 24,000, uh, which means at least another um, 12,000 records. So that is the last stage. It requires more care because uh, there are going to be records that are not duplicate and not 
detect them as duplicate just because their title is same, it doesn't mean that two records are duplicate. Um, so at this stage, um, if you finish scrolling down, and let's say you realize that the records are duplicate, apart from a few that you will deselect, you have done semi-automated screening. So from 64,000, now you are down to 40. The last part is to sort the records based on their title and make the title filled as wide as possible, but keep some of the other fields as well for double checking. And then again, grows down gradually to find the duplicates that EndNote wasn't able to find. These two, for example, they have same page number, but if you look at DOI, it is different. And you can continue here, you see that there are, there is another duplicate here, that it seems duplicate, but when you look at DOI, it isn't. So it's always possible that you find this one, for example, is duplicate that EndNote has missed, you can remove it and remember that the, one of the reasons that EndNote is not accurate 100 percent in finding duplicates is empty fields. So uh, it cannot make a good judgment when the fields are empty, like this one doesn't have page number. But considering all of that, you probably um, now are ready to start your uh, deduplication journey. Um, it is important to keep records of the numbers that you've detected and deleted as duplicate uh, because you need it for uh, your Prisma flow diagram during systematic review. Um, another thing that um, you can do go to systematicreview.info Um, and in blog section, you can read about the types of duplicates and what is duplicate and what it what isn't a duplicate. And it is important to keep the record of them um, for your Prisma. Um, I also need to mention that there are um, many other programs that uh, could detect the duplicates. And in my experience, none of them gives you the speed of browsing and confirming the duplicates as good as EndNote. There are also methods developed um, to find these, du um, these duplicates easier with more accuracy and uh, more of them uh, in one go. Um, but none of the methods are simple for majority of the users. That's why the, what I introduced you today is going to work for at least 90% of users. Uh, if you had any questions, please feel free to keep in touch. Um, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.